Uh, this is definitely not going to be another hour long review. Uh, Xenosaga the Animation is a show based on the game Xenosaga. It's an adaptation, as I understand it, a pretty direct one. Now, I haven't played the game Xenosaga. You will come to realize I have played very few video games. But upon asking some of my friends who have played it, it seems to be pretty pretty good. They seem to they seem to be to, to like it. Uh, however, the anime uh, even amongst fans of the game is not particularly well received. I saw a YouTube comment on a vid another video while doing some minor research that uh, it's who called it a C plus a, a, no a C minus adaptation of an A plus game. Uh, so I think that probably gives a good rundown of what the general consensus about the show is. Uh, but for me, who has no investment in the story already. I felt no need to watch past episode 4 when it seemed like the plot wasn't really going anywhere. Uh, so I don't necessarily recommend it uh, unless you're a huge fan of the game and just want to watch it for, for intrigue's sake. Uh, however, if you're not a fan of the game and you're still interested, let me give you some more information. This is a mecha show, a space mecha show, very inspired by, uh, you know, you will see inspirations from definitely Evangelion. I mean, the first shot in the show is a giant, like, crucifix floating in space made of gold with a big uh, letter, uh, Hebrew letter Aleph on it, which is the most Evangelion thing you could possibly see. So, you know... It's very Evangelion inspired, it's a little bit Gundam, uh, you know, of course, it's a mecha show made after Gundam came out, so it's inspired by Gundam. Star Wars, of course, the ship design is very Star Wars, uh, a little bit, maybe even a little bit original Star Trek, maybe even a little bit original Star Trek, uh, it's, a, it's that sort of show. Uh, the the mecha designs aren't particularly original. My personal preferences when it comes to mecha are they have to be big and they have to be very mechanical. I really like uh, one of my particular autism fetishes is for mechanical things moving in complicated ways, which is one of the reasons I like Nanoha so much. Uh, despite not liking Nanoha, we'll get to that when it comes up because Nanoha A's came out in two thousand and five. Um, so. Yeah, I can't... The main problem with the show is just that it's, it's kind of boring. I mean, it, the weird thing is that it does actually set up a lot of intrigue towards the beginning of the episodes. There's a lot of stuff that you're not told that's, like, set up at, at, to be a main, main intrigue of the plot. But, like, none of it's interesting to me. Like, why... Like, there's a big golden coffin thing, crucifix thing floating in space in the first episode. But I just don't really care why it's there. Like, there's nothing... Like, it's like, why is it there? What is it doing? Why did it kill this one guy? Why are people trying to get to it? Um, I don't care. It's not my thing. Mecha is not my thing. The main problems with this show are the intrigue is it's kind of boring and slow. Even pardon me. Even though there's quite a lot of actual action, the action is not choreographed in an interesting way. It's not shot in an interesting way. Uh, the, the, there's not really, I don't know, the, because it, it leaves so much as a mystery, which I imagine is not the case if you're playing the game, but they, I have no investment in any of these characters, really. They have a few save, they have like a, a save the cat kind of moment at the beginning, and there's androids in this world uh, who are like, you know, set up to be like kind of the good guys, or the, the, who you're supposed to be rooting for, uh, and, but a bunch, of, a bunch of characters die in the first episode, uh, which is just kind of dumb because it's the first episode. I don't only just met them. I don't really care about them. It's very strange, uh, or, or just it's not particularly interesting. It's quite boring. It's quite boring to me. So that's the first floor of the show. The second floor of the show would be uh, probably I'm imagining time constraints or budget constraints. Uh, the animation is lacking a lot of still frames, a lot of ja jaunty, jerky movement. Uh, and in particular, the character art is uh, fine for female characters, but male characters look god awful, super ugly. Uh, it's like they tried to explicitly make the male character like they tried to explicitly make them white, but it's drawn by someone who's never seen a white person in their life. Uh, doesn't look good. They look awful, in fact. Uh, and it's super inconsistent, like, like, any character that's not directly in front of the camera is drawn in, like, ten seconds, with their eyes all over the fucking shop. Uh, I would insert a picture right now that I took, but I can't do that because I don't have an editing software. Maybe I can, I don't know. But, uh, 
overall, I'm gonna give this show a four out of ten. It's it was already doomed to fail from the beginning because I'm not a mecha guy uh, yet. I am planning on becoming a mecha guy in the future, but so far the only I'm just not into mecha. Like there's no there's just not really any mecha shows I've enjoyed. I mean, unless you count Evangelion, which a lot of people don't because they're not technically mecha. Uh, then there's no mecha shows I've really enjoyed. I don't like Eureka 7, uh, Gundam is not particular, like I want to watch it, but it's it's so long I haven't got around to it yet. Uh, there was another mecha show I watched, oh, Darling in the Franks was shit. Uh, Big O, I found alright. Uh, what else? Uh, oh yeah, uh, f- f- fucking Lulu, what's it called? Code Geass is one of my least favorite shows of all time. I think it's a, a one out of ten show. Uh, I think it's absolutely god awful. Um, there was another one, but I forgot what it was. Uh, Gridman, I dropped off the one episode. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of mecha shows out there, and m- most of them don't interest me. Uh, I haven't seen Macross yet. I like Giant Robo. I've only seen one episode of Giant Robo, but that was cool. I'm gonna watch more Giant Robo. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I don't really recommend this show. 4 out of 10, unless you're a big fan of the games, which, in which case you've probably already heard of it and don't need me to recommend it, or just a gigantic mecha fan who will watch anything with mecha in it. Uh, apart from those two circumstances, there's not really any reason to watch this, but it's not really awful either. Like, the dialogue is pretty much fine, the, the voice acting is generally fine, the, the animation, as I said, is bad. Uh, like, like, the characters, voice actors will be experiencing an emotion, like anger or sadness, but the characters just kind of have the same flat emotionless expression most of the time. Uh, which I think is brought upon by, by misguided character designs, which is can't really be helped since it's an adaptation of a game, but they should have tried to adapt it harder. Um, the character designs are too detailed for the what I assume is the amount of budget and time allocated to this show, probably mostly time allocated to this show, uh, the, the character designs are just too detailed, they should have removed, they should have simplified it so they could focus more on some, some emotive expressions and, and, and nice nice motion, you know, but they, they didn't. Uh, so, so yeah, I think that sums up my thoughts on this show, uh, 4 out of 10, maybe a 3, um, was there anything else I wanted to say? The girls are kind of cute. They're not. They're, their designs are cute, or the designs are good. Like they, they, the designs are compelling. I wouldn't say they're like ten out of ten, but uh, you know, they're they're compelling design. They're compelling enough designs to make me think. I bet the game is good, <laughs> but I don't. I can't say anything about the show. I'm also not the biggest. I think if the game's a JRPG. I'm not the biggest JRPG guy either. I find them kind of long and arduous. I don't really like RPGs in general. I don't want my. I. I'm getting into my, my opinions on game design here, but I, I my, my opinions on game design are I don't want I don't like the the RPG progression mechanics as in you don't get better, your character gets better. You 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 don't have to actually become more skilled at the game, you just have to keep playing it until you get better items and your character becomes stronger. That's not what I like. I like to become better. I like the game to train me to become more proficient at the game. I don't want to feel like I won because the character is good. I want to feel like I won because I am skilled at the game. Uh, and that's why I don't like JRPGs. In fact, that's kind of why I don't like RPGs in general. Uh, or a lot of modern games do that. It's kind of why I like Counter-Strike so much and Half-Life 1. Uh, but yeah, there you go.